God, I hate this city. I've lived here all my life and I still don't understand why. It's so depressing. Nobody ever smiles. It seems everywhere you go, someone's trying to rip off someone else. Kids, ice cream vendors, even my own mother. Sometimes I think I must have been a real jerk in a previous life, and that's why I ended up here. Well, everything's going wrong at the moment. My rent's gone up, my car was stolen, and my cat moved next door and now snubs me in the hallway every time I arrive home. Well, as you've probably realised, I'm depressed. My name's Rick Carter and I work in a bank. Well, it's a great job, a health fund, superannuation, and you get to meet interesting people. Can I help you? Move. Well, I did work in a bank until some guy came in. Everybody down, don't move. Put a 45 up my nose and walked out with all the money. I've had the shakes ever since. I mean, whatever happened to the nice people? I pick up the paper and all I read about is muggings, murders, drug addicts and politicians. As if life isn't hard enough already. Even the comics are so violent I'm afraid to read them. It's like every day has turned into a Monday. Anyway, as I was saying, my life stinks at the moment. My girlfriend, Mei Ling, refuses to see me. Because we were mugged the other week by this colour gang called Salmon Pink, and I refused to fight them. Well, I thought things couldn't get worse, and that was when my best friend Andrew turned to me and said, You should get away. Take a trip to the country. The fresh air will do you good. The fresh air will kill me. My lungs are used to this pollution. Besides, how would I get there? I'll arrange a car. You could go for the weekend and relax. Just drive. What I really need to do is to sort out my love life and to earn some money. That's what I need. But you're so negative. Try being positive for once. Hey, think of the good things in your life, yeah? Think of those. Who knows? Hey, look, May Ling's a beautiful girlfriend. Yeah, but she won't talk to me at the moment. Well, give her a few days. She lost the best Reeboks in the mugging. She'll come round. Look, I'll tell you what. Now, you're my friend. I don't usually do this, but... If you go away, I'll talk to her. I'll give you the benefit of my experience. Well, look, Andrew, I don't know. Yeah. My own sister wouldn't even talk to me after you took her out. Yeah, and I told you she had deep psychological problems, didn't I? Yeah, but she only got those after she spoke to you. Look, the fact of the matter is, Mailing hates you. So what have you got to lose? Now, trust me, I'm your friend. Come on, Rick. Give it a try. Get away for a few days, eh? Who knows, you may meet some new friends. Change the rest of your life. What do you say? You got a deal? I said yes and went over to Mei Ling's to sort things out. She was her usual good-natured self. Go to hell, slime bag. But darling, I've got good news for you. Get lost before I call the police. You wouldn't do that, would you, dear? Not after all we've been to each other. Read my lips. Hello? Police? I'd like to report a rapist. R-A-P... Mei Ling, put down the phone. I'm going downstairs, all right? That's the smartest thing you've done in six months. The only reason I went out with Rick in the first place was because I thought I could get a car loan. I've been rejected by two other banks because I filled the forms in wrong. So I asked him to get it right for me. And he did. Back at his place. Oh, it was great. The way he uses a pencil and rubber, it's got to be seen to be believed. All over the form, like a dancer. Anyway, I got the car loan. I went out with him for a year. Oh, I figured I owed him that. Besides, I wanted him to teach me how to drive. The Global Galaxy, Enzo Paluzzi, Sicily, Businessman of the Year. We're just opposite the police station. My best friend Andrew worked in a used car lot. He could sell anything. Ice cubes to Eskimos, dinner suits to penguins, feathers to ducks, you name it. He talked his boss, Mr. Coluzzi, into giving me a loan of the best car on the lot, on condition I deliver a package for him to a cousin in Galaganbone. He said it was a birthday present. To tell you the truth, 
I was a bit suspicious. But if you can't trust your best friend and a used car dealer, who can you trust? <laughs> I'm not going to say anything bad about this. Because he's my best friend. He got me a great deal from the bank. But, well, you know, the guy's a loser. I mean, like I took him to a club, right? A really good nightclub. You know, the kind of place where Got to have a Maserati tattooed to your bum or a Swiss bank account just to get in. You know the kind of place. Like it's so exclusive a glass of water costs ten bucks. Are you with me? Yeah. Well, you know what this guy does? He walks inside and the place is wall to wall power people. He's guaranteed to make it. He sees everyone dressed in designer black. At the top of his voice, he yells out, Hey, who died? I mean, how uncool. I hid. He then goes up to the bar. He orders a beer, not a name beer. Just an ordinary beer. With ice. The guys refused to serve him, and they threw him out. I mean, uh, just to keep the peace, I acted like I didn't know him. Well, what else could I do? I'm not going to fight for a bloke who wears flares. Would you? I, I just don't want there to be any problems. Okay, now, it's a great car. It's a real beaut, eh? <laughs> Only ever driven of a Sunday. Let me tell you, if I could, uh, I would buy this. I want you to look after it. Don't go over 60. Stick to tarred roads only. And check the water and oil, because it leaks a little bit. It doesn't leak much. Just check it. Now, uh, the spares are in the back, and if you have any problems with the cops, just mention Paluzzi and show them the big 5-0. What? 50 bucks. Look, it's cheaper than a fine. All you say is, uh, officer, can't we come to some arrangement? Show them your rego and 50 bucks. See, in the back. But that's illegal. You know what they say? This state's got the best police force money can buy. Really? Forget it. That's why I'm trusting you, Rick, because I know you can be trusted. Just drop off Mr. Coluzzi's Christmas present to his brother on Sunday night. Okay? And enjoy your weekend. But he said it was a birthday present for his cousin before. No, 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 no. I'm sure he said it was a Christmas present for his brother. This is legit, isn't it? I mean, well, it's a long time till Christmas. Well, what do I know? Huh? Maybe they're a close family and they like to give presents early. I only work for the guy. Well, it's just that... Well, it's a bit strange, Rick. you know. Rick, shut up. This isn't Thailand. Now, you got the car. Be happy with that. You won't forget to call Mei Ling, will you? I said I would, didn't I? Now, you get away for a couple of days. I'll talk to Mei Ling. You'll come back at you, man. Everything will be sweet. You're a good friend, Andrew. Yeah, what are friends for? Now, start her up. <laughs> All right. Turn on your music, right? OK. Sail off down that highway. Hey. Don't forget the present. Getting out of the city was hell. It's too big. It seemed to stretch out for miles and miles. Finally, I came to the conclusion that if I could survive suburbia, then I could survive anything. You stink. I had a bath yesterday. Will you need another one, Carl? I told you I'm not taking you with me if you stink. But you promised, Benny. You said I did good. You said I could come on the next job with you. Shut up. I know what I said. Now, you see any priests? I don't know. Isn't this wrong? Just shut up and take the clothes. Move it. And that was how my weekend began. Just a car, a Christmas present, and me. The car had a few problems, but I was doing fine. At last, I had achieved freedom. I just had to tell Mei Ling. Hey, 
Andrew, I'm not lost. I, I wouldn't get lost. Look, uh, about the car. No, no, I haven't done anything to it. Look, th th there's something wrong with your handbrake. No, I didn't do it. Andrew, it just doesn't work. What do you mean I've got to pay? Look, I I've got to go. H have you spoken to Maylene? Look, will you tell her that I love her? I've got to go, Andrew. Okay, bye. <laughs> Maylene, uh, Maylene, uh, look, uh, I've got to go, honey. Uh, I, I, I've really got to go. Look, I love you. I've got to go. Hello, Maylene. It's me, Rick. Hello, Maylene. It's me again. I just called to say... Uh... This is Rick, isn't it? Look, get lost, Dad, bum. You ask me. I reckon the guy's got a telephone stuck to his ear. He never stops ringing. I swear, when he used to stay the night, he'd snore and it'd sound like a telephone. One of those electronic ones, you know. <coughs> I'd wake up half asleep and go to answer it. I'd wind up with my fingers up his nose. It was revolting. Life on the open road. Well, there was only one problem. Where the hell was I? God, I hate hitchhiking. You always end up with randy truck drivers, Bible bashers or widows. After traveling in 27 different countries, I've come to the conclusion that all men are the same. They either want to bore you to death with stories about their love life or make you a part of it. When I first saw Rick, I sensed he was a little mixed up, but I liked his car. Besides, my feet were sore. Hi. Hi. I could do with a lift. Sure, but I'm out of petrol. I don't mind. We could sing a song. No. Oh no, the number plate game. I hate games. No games. Would you like a lift? Where are you going? I don't know. West, I think. Fine, that will do. My name's Rick. Suzette. Your accent. It's foreign. No kidding, I didn't realize. You're French. 
New Caledonian, French baron. Can you be mine? Forget it. Seatbelt. What? You don't have your seatbelt on. Oh, I don't like them. You've got to wear it. It's the law. Satisfied? Would you mind not putting your foot up? It's not my car. Oh, is it stolen? No, it's a friend's. He lent it to me for the weekend. Please don't play with the radio. It's not tuned for out here. Got any cassettes? Sure. They're in the back. Hey, what are you doing? They're all packed away. Hey, it's a non-smoking car. I said it's a non-smoking car. It's a convertible. Well, it's non-smoking. Oh, stop the car. Stop the car. What's the matter? I'm getting out. If I'd wanted a lift with my father, I would have asked him. What's wrong? You. You keep telling me what to do. I'm a guest in your car. I wanted a lift, not a lecture. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, you did. It's just it's not my car. I've got to look after it. Oh, what do you think I was going to do to it? Scratch it? Burn holes in your bonnet? Smash the tires? Gilston. I said I'm sorry. Not good enough. Do you want a lift or not? Not. Come on, you may as well. I haven't seen a car in ages. No. You need a lift. I apologize. Can I play music? Sure. No more rules and regulations? Okay. All right. Seat belt on, no feet up, no smoking. Now, my. Why me? Why do I always end up with the loonies? Other people pick up nice people, polite people, people who talk and don't insult you. All I wanted was a bit of conversation to pass the time. Creeps. I always get them. Just for once, I'd like to hitch a ride with a priest or a mute. Someone who wouldn't talk. Someone who'd leave me alone. Someone who would do nothing. Someone I could just fall asleep on. Oh, that's good. Two minutes off your life. Thanks, Papa. You know, you're very pushy. Pardon? I said you're very pushy, demanding cigarette breaks. What if I was in a hurry? Then you'd drive away. I just think it's rude. <laughs> me rude? You were the one telling me what to do before. Yeah, well, it's just... Forget it. Well, now go on, say it. What? Well, it is my car. I thought you said it was your friend's car. Well, it is. So are you lying now? No, 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 it's just a figure of speech. He lent it to me, so I'm in charge. I've got all the responsibility, and what I say about the car goes. I've already got to pay for the handbrake. Oh, paint me blue and call me the Virgin Mary. I forgot I meant to be a dumb woman. You men, it's unbelievable you are always the same. I mean, I am so sorry if saying what I feel makes you feel inadequate, but what's right? Do you have to say I'm pushy just because I stand up for my rights? Did I try and take your little car from you? No. Did I burn a hole in your precious little metro symbol? Not a 
who the hell do you think you are telling me I'm pushy? You don't even know who I am. Some stranger gets into your car and you abuse them. Pushy bullshit. You're rude. Now shut up and drive. I don't want to talk to you no more. Beginning with S. Mm -hmm. Sand. Mm -mm. Sky. Mm -hmm. Sun. Mm -mm. Shade. Don't give up. No, no, I never give up. Sun visor. Mm -mm. Sand shoes. Mm -mm -mm. Sex. Mm -hmm. Shoes. Your shoes. No. Spinifex. It's a type of grass. That means I get another go. Shut up and drive. Is it fixed yet? No. How long will it take? I don't know. Do you know what you're doing? Yes. Look, just stop bothering me. No need to be rude. It could help. It's not my car. Your responsibility, you said so. Even the offer of assistance would be appreciated. Why, if I touch it, I might break it, and then you would get upset and we wouldn't want that, would we? Oh, very funny. What do you want me to do? Nothing. It's all done now. No thanks to you. Mel. What was that? Mel means drive. It was about this time I started wondering, what the hell am I doing? Driving through the middle of nowhere with an arrogant bitch as a passenger. I must have been mad or had a death wish. Sure, she was attractive, but the mouth. All I wanted was a quiet weekend. My mother once told me the key to life. Men can only think about two things, food and sex. If they can eat it, they are happy. If they can screw it, they're happier. Oh, but if they could find something that could do both, they'd fall in love. It seemed like a pretty good equation. Are you finished yet? Give me a chance. You've been there for half an hour. What's the matter? Can't you find it? your fault for drinking a beer. I told you not to drink. You stink when you drink. It's hot. I have to cool down. You'll cool down when I tell you to. From now on, no more beer. Found it. Good. See? Good as new. How about we start all over again? My name's Rick. I know your name. You said it before. I just think we both got off on the wrong foot. If we're going to travel together, we shouldn't fight. For one, we are not traveling together. You are going one way, I just happen to be headed in the same direction. Two, we're not fighting. You are making all the accusations. Do you have a problem with women? I don't have to give you this list. Then don't. I'll get out now and walk. I don't care. Did you ever ask yourself why you picked me up? I didn't. You asked me. 
That was the first time. The second time you saw my legs, Dr. Cowan asked you if I wanted a lift. I did not. It took me out of my head. Look, I'm driving along, and I see a stranger, who I just happen to have pushed all the way to a petrol station, and I think to myself, wouldn't it be nice to have some company? So I give her a lift. I just wanted some company. I didn't want to be alone. What's wrong with that? That's all there is to it. No, it's not. You wanted to get to know me, right? Well, it seems silly for two people to sit in a car for hours and hours and not even talk to each other. I tell you about me, you tell me a little about you. We both get to know each other, that kind of thing, right? Yes. We both get a little closer, begin to enjoy each other's company, that kind of thing. Yes. Then you put the hard word on me and try and get me into bed. No! Why would I do that? I hardly even know you. And you're not going to get to know me. It was a harmless conversation. Why do you go and spoil it? I think you're the one with the problem. Look, I've heard it all before, all the car lines. Oh, you've got beautiful hair. Do you travel this way often? Or, I don't usually pick up hikers, but you look special. Aren't you a model? Or there's, you look tired. Why don't you tilt your seat back a little? And then there's her, you know. Oh, my favorite of all time had to be I've got some great Julio Iglesias tips. How about them horizontal dance tips? I wasn't going to say any of that. Oh, and what were you going to say? Nothing. OK, my mistake. You're not trying to pick me up. One of the few honorable men left. Look, I just want a lift. I don't know you. You don't really want to get to know me, so let's just drive. Is it all right if I breathe? Talk about problems. He'd be all right if he wasn't so uptight. Why do they all act the same? They think they are doing you the biggest favor in the world by giving you a lift. I'll have to dump him at the next town. It's a pity. It's a great car. She's a bitch. Hell, I don't even know the girl, and she's already telling me what to do. Well, she has to go. I'll make an excuse and drop her at the next town. Next thing she'll want is more music. Excuse me. Could you play some music, please? She's got to go. It's got no style. There's nothing wrong with stockings. Not fair. Other gangs get to wear fancy masks. You'll wear stockings if I tell you to. Girl guides. What? Girl guides collect money. We could disguise ourselves as girl guides. You're sick. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere near Cowra, I think. Where's that? West. There's a turn-off up ahead. Shouldn't we have stayed on the highway? No, I'm taking a shortcut. I tossed a coin back at the rest area. It said to go left. Jesus, stop the car. What's wrong? How many times in the last hour have you turned left? Oh, I don't know. Two or three. Look over there. It's the same one. <laughs> no, it couldn't be. They all look the same out here. That's where you check the oil. You can see the stain. You've been driving around in circles. I don't believe it. How can anybody be so stupid? I'm not stupid. Anyone can get lost. This is not lost. This is absurd. Oh, hey! Hey! Damn! What are you doing? I'm 
catching another thief, I'll find someone who knows where they're going. Oh, well, that's fine by me. I'll even help you get out. Here, catch. I don't need your help. Oh, well, that's all right, then. I won't. Fine by me. Well, see you later, then. Not if I see you first. I hope you don't get lost again. Find your own lift. On a scratchy telephone When I hung up the receiver yeah, I just fell my rule on And I got miles to go Close the door, love. You'll let the flies in. Stress. You look buggered. Pardon? What can I do you for? Oh, uh, a cappuccino, please. <laughs> Not much call for cappuccino around here. Cup of coffee, maybe. It's instant, though. Boys won't drink anything else. That would be fine. That'll be a dollar. Oh, um, the hamburger of cheese, is it fresh? Well, it hasn't started running around the fridge, love, so I suppose it must be. In fact, I think I heard it move this morning. That would be fine. What are you staring at, lunatic? That'll be four dollars fifty. Oh, I also um, some chips and uh, a milkshake, uh, chocolate. Miss, do you have any money? Of course I do. Can I see it, please? Certainly, when you bring my order. I've been in the game long enough to know when someone's trying to pull a Swifty on me. Now, can I see your money, please? I told you I will pay when I get my order. Bill, 
There's a frog out the front who ain't gonna pay for a bill. She ain't got no money. Of course I do. I'm not a bum. Let's see your money, love. You take travellers' checks? Sharon, call the cops. I had some. I mean, I, I've just been to the bank. I just got, it's probably, I don't know, I thought I'd put it in this pocket. Uh, perhaps, um... um... Excuse me. You drop this. Thank you. You see, I have money. Sorry, lady. You just get a lot of drifters around here. You wouldn't believe the stunts they pull in order to get out of paying for a meal. You think I would? Thanks. You didn't need to do that. I didn't do anything. I fell out of your sock. Yeah, well, thanks anyway. I don't mention it. Uh, look, uh, sorry about before. I've got a lot on my mind. I came here to get away from people. Sorry I took it out on you. You were going to do a runner, weren't you? You know, eat everything and then nick off without paying. Yes. Don't you have any money? Uh, last night, uh, I got a lift in a car with some guys. They took my purse and threw me out. Were you hurt? Mm, only my pride. <gasps> I'm usually pretty careful about the cars I get into. You know, if I get a bad feeling, I don't get in. Oh, but it was late. I was tired. I was stupid. You were lucky. Why didn't you tell me this before? What? And had you feel sorry for me? I don't need that. No. But I might have understood why you were so angry. Did you call the police? No point. They're long gone. Besides, it's happened before. When? In Turkey. Look, do you mind if we uh, change the subject? Sure. What are you doing? Trying to decide where to go next. Don't you have any idea where you're going? Yeah, of course I do. I'm not stupid. I've got to be in Galagenbone on Sunday. Until then, I can go anywhere. I'm just driving around for the hell of it. Occasionally, I toss a coin to decide which direction to go in. I know. Yeah, well, it usually works. You're weird, Rick, you know that? Coming from you, I'd say that was a compliment. Ooh, touché. Look, I need to get to a bank. Uh, I've only got a short time here. I want to see some countryside, you know, an emu, some sights, some tourist things. Do you mind if I come along? You in a hurry? No, not till Monday. Are we going to fight? Not if you don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Who knows? We might even talk, if you're lucky. Out of 
there by your side I reach out just to touch you Then I realize It's a wide open road For. I've got to make a phone call. Mailing? Mailing, please don't hang up. You're costing me a fortune. Just to see how you are. It's because I care about you, that's why. Look, how about we both go out to dinner when I come back on Monday? Or, all right then, how about Tuesday? Wednesday? All right, then. Um, how about breakfast? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Look, my link. Oh, oh, how about a snack? We'll, we'll just, I'll take you out for a snack. I'll pay. Mailing? Hello? Hello? Shit. How are things? Not too good, huh? I'd rather not talk about it. Boy or girl? What? The lover or the lack of the lover is always the problem. So? Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Only ask. You never can tell sometimes. Look, I'd rather not talk about it, all right? I'm hungry. Everybody needs to talk to somebody. I hardly even know you. You said so yourself. That was before. You can talk now. And what about you? Who are you going to talk to? I don't need to talk. Why, are you perfect? No, I just don't have a problem on the other end of the telephone that I'm running away from. Who said I was running away? You're driving around in circles in the middle of nowhere for no reason with a problem you won't talk about. I'll take bet you're running away. I just wanted to get away for the weekend. Why? Because of the telephone lady. She's not the telephone lady. Her name's Mei Ling. Okay, she's got a name. Tell me more. I'm fascinated. Well, we've been going out for about a year now. She just doesn't want to see me anymore. Seems reasonable. I'm only you because you've got a car. If you're going to send me up, I'm not going to say anything. Sorry. Why the change of heart? Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, yes, I do. It's basically me. But things haven't been going well for the past couple of months. We just don't seem to be getting on anymore. Between you and me, I think she hates me. Oh? Well, well the sex was great. It was full of passion, but we never really spoke. You know, in depth. The most climactic conversation we ever had was discussing the menu over dinner. Anyway, about a month ago, the bank where I worked was involved in a hold-up. And I was the teller who got buttoned. Buttoned? Held up. Well, I've had the shakes ever since. She just can't handle it. Were you hurt? No, just roughed up a bit. But it threw me, you know? Like, the, the bank trains you in what to do, and you know it's all always could happen because it's part of the job. But when you've got some guy shoving a gun in your face, well, it's different. Like, I, I'm not a very religious person. And, well, you know all that stuff they say about your life flashes before your eyes? It's true. It really scared the hell out of me. I mean, I was half an inch away from being dead. If all that guy had to do was to squeeze the trigger, I would have been gone. It just makes you realize how easy it is to lose everything. <laughs> what a mouthful. I told you more than I told her. Sometimes it's easier to talk to somebody you don't know. She just doesn't understand how I feel. 
How did you feel? Empty. Empty and angry. And scared. I start to shake sometimes in front of people. And I can't stop. I feel humiliated. I get so angry that, that these people can make me feel this way. Nobody has the right to put violence on another, but it's part of life. Some people are crazy. Look at war. Arrogance, power, greed. We don't learn the lessons from history. I don't know what's worse, the rape of the mind or the body. They try and make you feel worthless, steal your dignity, invade you. That's why you feel empty and angry. But just don't let the hate take over. You must live. Not all people are bad. Ain't another thing I've been wondering lately. Some people never want to talk about themselves. I'm one of them. I can't stand people asking questions of me. Mind you, it's okay when I'm asking you questions. I'm a great listener. You see, I reckon the trouble is, people get preconceived ideas about each other before they even speak. I read somewhere about an American psychologist who proved that people make a subconscious decision three seconds after seeing somebody as to whether or not they could sleep with them. So what they see later isn't going to change anything. Remember that when we were back in the city, I said, find me a car that'll go at least a thousand miles. Yeah. Well, first you, 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 you pinch a broken down combi, and then you find me this. It's got air conditioning. Oh, shut up about the air conditioning. I'm sick of hearing about the air conditioning. It's a piece of junk. I'll fix it. How? You don't know anything about cars. You stole a piece of junk. I mean, what kind of a getaway car is this? It don't even go. Cars are like animals. They've got personalities. You've got to know how to treat them right. Broken down. If it was a horse, you'd put it out of its misery. Yeah, you're right. What did you do that for? You... Told me to. What is it? The big merino. The big sheep. You said you wanted to see some sights. And that's it? Yeah. What's it do? Nothing. Well, it, it sells souvenirs, I suppose. Australia's full of great things like that. There's the big pineapple, the big strawberry, the big oyster, the big prawn, um, the big house, the big potato, and the big banana. No. Who would make a big banana? Well, God did. That's why they call us the big country. Of course, everything's big down here. Did he make the big dickhead too? No. Nah, we
We did that one ourselves. <laughs> Let's go. Where? Shopping. Some people have terrible habits, like picking their nose at traffic lights or taking off their runners in crowded elevators. Suzette just wanted to steal everything. I was beginning to think she was a bad influence on me. Like a drink? No, no, thanks. I'm just enjoying the view. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, it's beautiful. This country, you're so lucky, it's so large. The more I see it, the more I love it. Sometimes I feel I could disappear inside it and be swallowed up. Hmm? Yeah, I know what you mean. When I was little, my dad used to take us up the coast every Christmas. The drive was the best thing about it. Heaps better than the caravan park where we used to stay. I used to sit in the back seat and just stare out into the trees and wonder what was behind them while Mum complained about the heat. <laughs> you'd sit there and you'd slide from side to side as you went around the corners. I used to do that too. But you can't do it nowadays. The expressways, they're just so straight and you drive so fast you can't even see the trees. Yeah. Is that why you came this way off the highway? Yeah, a bit of nostalgia. Mm. You sure you don't want that drink? Why not? My father had a cow ranch, but not as big as the ones out here. In New Caledonia is small islands. If you had one that big, all the cows would fall into the sea. <laughs> I've never seen a cow swim. You know, I, I never felt at home there. Why not? We made a mess in the Pacific, it's sad. Anyway, my father is a real asshole. <laughs> he treats people who aren't French like shit. He hates you. Oh, thanks. He wanted me to marry a nice boy. He offered me a new house if I would marry and have children. The only condition was that the boy be French. So he chose one for me. And? I told him I would rather suck a pig. Mm. Henri was a real donghead. What happened then? I told him where he could shove Henri. Probably not such a good idea at the time, but mm -hmm. I was going out with another boy who I thought I loved. So he found out. He didn't approve. We had big drama. He hit me, stuff like that. So I left home, traveled a bit, got myself into a bit of trouble, did some really stupid things, but I survived, and here I am. What about uh, Henri? Henri? Mm. He uh, stayed in Numia and opened up a surfboard shop. <laughs> to us and our messed up lives. Oh, to us and our messed up lives. Mm.
can't. Sorry. It wasn't as if I didn't like him or anything. I did. It's just I didn't feel right about it. Not then. I couldn't. I didn't want to get involved. Charming, what happened to you? You look terrible. Keys. Good mood. You got a hangover. Where have you been? Put down. Why? To get breakfast, of course. Really? Why, what do you think I was doing? Well, I don't know. I wake up, the car's gone, you're gone. You didn't think I'd stolen your car, did you? No, of course not. Didn't know where it had gone. You did. Well, after last night, I. You're an idiot, you know that. You don't know the first thing about people. Stolen your car, I love it. Hurry up and drive, I'm hungry. <laughs> Some orange juice, fresh bread, sorry, no croissant. <laughs> Some jam. Where'd you get the money to pay for all this? I didn't. You stole it. I borrowed it. If they want it back, they can ask. But what if you were caught? Well, then we would both be angry. Don't worry, I do it all the time. But that's no excuse. I don't think I like the thought of you being in jail. Oh, how sweet. Look, uh, about last night. I'm sorry. Well, you don't have to be sorry. I was the one to blame. I got carried away. I should be apologizing. Well, you don't understand. I'm not apologizing. What happened last night was wonderful. It scared me a little, but it was wonderful. You are a really nice guy, Rick. I really like you. But I'm wrong for you. 
You know nothing about me. I know nothing about you. It wouldn't work. I know that I like you. Please, let's just forget it happened. Friends. Friends. Thanks. It's hot. Keep walking. Oh. Is that a mirage? Come on. Shouldn't we wait for him? Come on, let's go. Hey! No. Most people are born with some sense of good taste. But with Quake, it was a losing battle. His trash sense was disgusting. What did you talk about? Who did she mention me? Andrew, she must have said something. Well, what, what do you mean she didn't want to talk about me? And what did you say? You didn't want to upset her? Well, how can you upset her by talking about me? You were meant to be there on my behalf. Tonight? Why are you going over there tonight? Oh, hold on, hold on. Did, did I hear you right? She's taking you to the opera. <laughs> she doesn't like the opera. Well, she never told me she liked the opera. What do you mean, relax? How can I relax? I'm in the middle of nowhere and you're taking my girlfriend out to the opera. Dinner first. Ah, that's a weight off my mind. Sure, I'll ring tomorrow. This time, talk about me. Well? I'd rather not talk about it. You can tell me our friendship is two days old. She's taking my best friend to the opera. Should have done what I told you before. Oh, forget. Why does she hate you? She doesn't hate me. She yells at you and hangs up the phone. I've heard it. But she's just confused. You should drop her. Lay off. Only trying to help. I don't want your help, okay? Mad. Carol from the CWA needs more lamingtons. And here at the bone, it's getting hot. So folks, start baking. Can I help you? Um, we'll have the baked fish. It's fresh. Catch of the day idea. It's frozen. Now that's fresh. I only thought it out this morning. We'll have hamburger. He's from the city, aren't you? Well, how can you tell? Well, you dress funny, you're stuck up, and you're having a hamburger. Locals never have a hamburger. Well, why not? Full of green stuff. Is it mouldy? Let's do a runner. No, I said I'd pay. Oh, come on, just for fun. Look, we're not stealing the food, and that's final, all right? Eric, you've got to loosen up. I am loose. No, you're not. Every time you go and make a phone call, you come back tense, and it takes hours to get you to relax. Yeah, well, when your best friend's about to go out on a date with your potential ex-girlfriend, there's a reason to be tense, don't you think? No. Why don't you just accept the situation? She doesn't want you. Unless she's rich and you're hopelessly in love with her, I'd forget it. I wouldn't let anybody treat me the way she treats you. Anyway, 
I think it's obvious that she hates you. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. You're scared. Of what? Being alone. Garbage. You said so yourself when you first picked me up. You said, I don't like being alone. Get lost. No, you get lost. You get lost. No, you get lost. Okay, I don't want to be alone. Is there anything wrong with that? No. But there is a difference between being alone and being lonely. Yeah. You're right. I made a pretty big mess of this, hadn't I? I don't know. Have you? Yeah. I don't really love it. Just been fooling myself. Me too. I've never told anybody this before, but when I left home, I swore I'd never return and that I hated my father. It's not true. I miss my family. I just want them to let me live my life. Does that make sense? Yeah. We make a pretty good pair, don't we? Bonnie and Clyde. What do you know? I'm not sure, but... Over there, those guys. Where? Across the street. The big guy. What guy? The guy that stuck me up a month ago. That's him. Oh, it couldn't be. What would you be doing out here? It doesn't look like a holiday. Come on, they're getting away. Hey! What about the bill? Call the police. What are you doing? Following them. What's the matter? Find us! Someone's following! You're crazy with me, but you're going to get us both killed! You want to get out? Get out! I can't! I'm riding too fast! It's the car chase! You're meant to drive fast! Alarm. Besides, the police could be anywhere. Like over there? Hey, wake up! Are they following us? No. Then it's up to us. You stay here. No way. I'm coming too. What if they recognize you? The armed bandits are reported to have stolen $100,000. A police spokesman says the thief between his five and six made no attempt to disguise the Evening. Hi. Room for two, I suppose. Yes. No luggage, I see. Uh, 
We uh, travel light, don't we, dear? Most people have a car. It broke down, didn't it, darling? Oh, yes. The steering wheel fell off. It was terrible. How long will you be staying? So short a day, as possible. Look, we're not that type of motel. Oh, and what kind of motel are you? I just saw two men go into one room. The gents in number six, I'll have you know, are very religious. So where are their bicycles? They got a puncture. Um, my wife and I are visiting relatives in town. We'll only stay for a short time if she doesn't get on with them. Yes, I can understand why. They're pigs, the Smiths, you know them? I've met a few. It'll be room five, $65 in advance. No credit cards and breakfast's extra. Oh, I don't think we'd have the strength for breakfast. Do you be shit? <clears throat> Name? Smith, I suppose? The Jones. We're on the other side of the family. You'd pay the girl, darling. I'm going to go and sleep and do something more comfortable. that for you'll blow the whole deal I don't like her anyway now she'll be listening for a job if she hears anything she will call the police and we'll be... oh, shut up and do as you're told mm. Mm. he might have recognized you husband Inside, what do we do? Oh, I don't know. I suppose we wait for them to make a move. Is that your plan? Yeah, I suppose it is. I don't believe it. You don't have a plan. Well, do you? The only reason I followed you in was because I thought you had a plan, mon dieu! Sit there and be quiet. How could you forget to stop me? <laughs> Synthetics give me a rash. Listen, we're going to stay here for a couple of days. They'll be looking for us on the highway. Not in town. Later, when it's dark, you can dump that car and find us a decent one. Questions? Yeah? How's that thing work? Quick. Mm hmm How long does it take to get from here to the city? Oh, about eight to ten hours. Why? I'm catching a plane to France on Monday. Uh, my parents moved back there a year ago. I telephoned them last week and told them I was ready to come home. And? I don't know if I can finish this with you. Why? I'm scared. I don't want you to get hurt. Look, I didn't want to get involved because I knew I was going back soon. You don't have to explain. I do. I came out here to clear my head. To get away from people. I didn't plan to fall in love with you. Neither did I. Well, can you hear anything? I think they're asleep. Sure? Yeah. I think I heard snoring. Okay, let's go. Okay. We get their car first, then we call the police. Quick! Where are the seats? What? Not a air conditioner. 
kill her. She doesn't fix it. Black. She said she would. I want air conditioning. Will you shut up and keep your voice down? Straight your cough. You're meant to be a priest. You look like a pig. Clean yourself up. to take a look around. Oh, you this madness. You better come back, take the car and call the police. Rick! Rick! Richard never worked. Richard, they did nothing to it. Why don't you take a shower and cool down? He paid for air conditioning. He should have got it. <coughs> Hate being ripped off. Bet everyone else gets air conditioning. I bet you next door gets air conditioning. Will you shut up about the air conditioning? You're getting on my nerves. Me on your nerves? What about you? Keeping us holed up here for a week. We could have been halfway across the state by now. You would have been caught long ago if it wasn't for me. Just remember that. Now go take your shower. I'm gonna get a beer. I said no more drinking. Try and stop me. Stand the heat. Come on, let's get out of here. <gasps> Shit, Rick, look. What are we going to do? Give me the keys. Here, you take the money. I got you into this, I'll get you out. No, don't be stupid. We could both run away, go. No, that's what got me into this mess in the first place. Look, just trust me. I know exactly what to do. Anything wrong, officer? We parked in a no-standing zone. Oh. Would you like to see the registration papers? Are you trying to bribe me? What? I owe you 50 bucks. Suzette. It's a joke from a friend. You see me laughing? I'm sorry. Don't get smart with me, Jim. Officer Kalusi, your keys on the table. You better come into the station. Over. I'm 
I'm on my way, Cheryl. Kaluzzi! You're a Kaluzzi! You want to make something of it? No, look, I'm Rick. I've got a present for you from your brother. Not oh, here. It's a bit squashed, but oh, shut up and keep your voice down. Look, I'm glad you're a policeman. I thought it was oh, D-R-U-D-S. Christ's sake. What about the ticket? Piss off. <laughs> like a lift. Depends where you are going. How about France? Okay. sitting in the smoking section. Oh, stop complaining. You have the window seat. Do you really think your father will hate me? Rick, I'm positive. <laughs> 